workout for the day is complete. Did some back and shoulders, so we are off to a really great start. Now, after this little bit of festive season, my fridge and food cupboard is completely empty, which is a good thing because today I'm going to go healthy grocery shopping. And I thought I'd take you with me. But um, first, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so hands down, the best place to shop for fresh food is Food Lovers Market. Um, it's effectively like the equivalent of a Whole Foods in the United States and in uh, the UK. Always want to go for the ones more towards the back because they tend to be a little bit fresher. I mean, like, look at all this amazing produce. It's really, really incredible. Like, damn. I mean, honestly, I don't know why so many people are afraid of, like, the carbs. They are so good for you. You've just got to, like, you know, choose the right ones. I love these red sweet potatoes. They are freaking amazing and they're delicious and they're slow digesting best not so much a fan of the butternut but pumpkin oh hells yes we need all of the garlic because this is so good for you and makes your food taste epic i am a huge fan i love my spicy food like these look like little bird's eye charlies i think i'm not sure but i'm happy i think this is enough oh bloody hell i just walked right past them uh, tomatoes. Oh, they've got oat milk, amazing. I hate dairy milk. Like I don't, my constitution doesn't do well with it. Uh, so when I'm at a store and I see there's oat milk, I tend to grab a lot of it because they go out of stock like really, really quickly. I've got four, I think maybe one more. <laughs> also, olive oil, absolutely essential. Honestly, I don't like to buy too much food like in one go at any given time because I try and do my shopping on a weekly basis to keep my fruits and veg kind of as fresh as I possibly can because I don't want them to go off and waste, you know? Okay, vegans, this is the time where you look away. So skinless chicken breasts are really amazing. Um, you usually pay a fortune for them, but that's usually when they debone them as well but Food Lovers kind of leaves the bones in, which I kind of like because I tend to make a lot of chicken curries. So the bones are always great for flavor in that context. So, perfect diet for me. Yeah, that was the first time I vlogged inside that store and everybody gets so weird when they see the camera <sighs> the really nice thing about food lovers specifically that i think is a little bit different to like other stores is just like the sheer variety of like fresh and whole foods that you can get in store and it's nice to be able to pick up something and feel the texture of it to see, I don't know, if your product is ripe or if it's, I guess, been sitting there for a little bit too long or if it's got, you know, a number of imperfections. And there are other grocery stores that also do this, but nothing quite specifically like food lovers in terms of their variety and the options that they have available. Love shopping here. I mean, I'm really happy that that shop wasn't too busy today. Also, like, the trouble that I find with, like, going, like, monthly grocery shopping is, like, I always... I guess overestimate how much food I'm actually buying or underestimate, I guess, and so I end up with too many groceries. So if I go, I guess, on a weekly basis, then I get a more accurate sense of like what it is that I'm eating uh, in a week effectively. No, I don't want a personal loan. I mean, also as far as possible, I try to buy as fewer processed things 
as I can. Like even like things like sauces, like tomato sauce, I'll obviously buy that and mayo. Definitely, I'll have that. But like any kind of spicy things which I love, I'll always make it myself. Zane also does all kinds of sauces, which is amazing, and they sell it. So maybe I'm gonna put a link in the description and you can go and check out just the sauce. Yeah, I have people painting the house and I feel like I'm in the way, so I'm gonna get out of this kitchen as quickly as I can. Okay, that's a lot better. Actually, it's a little bit more toasty here because now I'm sitting directly in front of the window and there's sunshine. Also, Cape Town is doing that four seasons in a day thing. It was like really, really overcast earlier and it was cold and windy and now the sun is out and it's boiling hot i think i need to like change into something because i digress the groceries that i bought at food lovers right now isn't obviously all of the groceries that i have in my house um there were some kind of staples that i already had here that i didn't get at the store peanut butter for one is one of those things that I just definitely can't live without. And it's also such a healthy one, particularly if you get the one that has no added sugar, salt, so just like the proper raw peanut butter. Most amazing thing on toast. And then obviously some whole wheat brown bread that goes hand in hand with the peanut butter and then also for eggs and toast, man, like, mm. while we're talking about bread, I would have loved to get some rye bread from the food lovers, but I already had like a loaf of whole wheat brown bread here so I didn't want to like double up on it and then the other bread goes to waste so next time one of the things that I don't like specifically buy are things that are like traditionally breakfasty because I don't eat breakfast at all and I'm not referring to like breakfast food stuff so like eggs and cereal like I love those things it's like the time of day that I just can't eat that early like on a day where I'm up at say 6 a.m., I can eat maybe 12 o'clock, maybe. I mean, if you really want to get into the weeds about it, effectively, if I can only eat breakfast at 12 and I'm going to bed like at 11, 12 o'clock, that's effectively a whole 12 hours of not eating, which is kind of like intermittent fasting almost, but not quite. I don't know. Look, that's just my body and my body's rhythm. And that's one thing that I've learned over time is that I cannot eat breakfast. If I eat breakfast, I am slow and sluggish for the rest of the day. And my digestion is just bleh. So if I am effectively eating breakfast only in the afternoon, uh, I still like to eat something that resembles something like breakfast. So I love oats. So either uh, two minute oats or steel cut oats are really, really amazing. I tend to mix my protein shake into the oats and just makes it taste so amazing. So because I also work out in the mornings, I do need to eat something as a kind of post workout meal. I don't eat anything before I work out. It can feel really, really sluggish. So I always train fasted. So following my training session, I'll always have a protein shake with something like a banana to kind of fuel my body post that workout and then have the breakfast and those things at like 12-ish. So in terms of like lifestyle, I am not going on any kind of specific diet at all. I am done with that. I mean, in the last video, I kind of talked about how I've been struggling with my weight for like my entire life and I have been on every single kind of diet you can imagine. And there are things that I have pulled out of those that have work for my body and there are things that haven't and the thing that generally works is having everything in moderation and making sure that i have enough fruits and vegetables in my diet and again to throw back to the vlog that we did yesterday where i talked about building sustainable and consistent habits uh dieting is not something that fits into that for me again i've done it been there like not for me I mean, my experience has been that you can only diet for a particular i guess window and thereafter it starts becoming difficult and problematic and starts negatively impacting your health or you don't see as much gains as you i guess wanted to and so really over time i've learned quite a lot from i guess low fat diets to low carb diets to high protein diets to uh being vegan to go on low fodmap diets like all of those things like I, like i've been there and I think for me, the thing that has been consistent throughout those things was eating less processed foods, 
Yay, I just reached my move goal for the day and it's so early already. Amazing. So that's avoiding as much processed food as possible, uh, eating whole foods and getting in like a good balance of your macros, so your carbs, fats and proteins and having that all kind of in balance and not also putting too much pressure on yourself to kind of stick to it like so rigidly that you are a human being and you do have space and freedom to move around those things. But that the consistency and the sustainability is the thing that you need to like keep in the back of your mind. And also for me, this is not something that's like a short term win. This is me playing the long game. This is me investing in my health, in my wellness, in my gentle kind of happiness, as opposed to setting some kind of results based goal of, you know, I want to lose X amount of kilograms or I want to gain X amount of muscle or look a particular way or have a particular body type. like. It's none of that. We are investing in our health and our wellness for the long run. And whatever that looks like, whatever my body looks like at that point in time, that's what it is. Thanks for coming along with me on this grocery haul. If there are other kind of whole foods or food recommendations that you think I should get, drop them in the comments, please. I'd really like to have a look at them. And yeah, maybe we can go shopping for them next week. Right, if this video brought you a little bit of value, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And I will see all of you for another episode of the daily vlog tomorrow. Ciao.